My name is Alex Garfield and uh, I'm a current pro gaming manager. I manage a bunch of professional gamers who travel around the world and compete professionally in tournaments. My team is Team Evil Geniuses, EG for short, and we are a North American team. And I've been in CS and competitive gaming for around seven, eight years now. Intel's new Core i7 chip is, is really exciting because hyperthreading is back. And this means that you have four physical cores, but you actually have eight and sometimes even more logical threads to work with. And this means that you can actually play the best games that are available today at the highest graphical settings without experiencing problems with performance. Basically, if you're playing online, or you're playing on LAN, or you're playing competitively, or you're playing with your friends, or for fun, or whatever, you want to have good FPS, which is frames per second. If you have a frames per second count that is lower than your opponent, and you're getting a little bit of choppiness on your screen, you're going to be at a disadvantage. Basically, the primary component of your PC that determines your FPS is your processor. So if you have a better processor than your guy that you're playing against, you're going to have a competitive advantage. If you want to be at the top level of performance, Intel's Core i7 is what you have to have. There's no chip like it, flat out, with any other competitor anywhere else in the market. If I were going to give advice to a gamer today, I would just say don't compromise. If you go for a processor like the Core i7, you don't have to compromise. The Intel Core i7 is easily the best desktop processor I've ever used.